I mean, I'm, you're just looking at one of the most blessed people in the world because I've just had so many great opportunities. But I gotta tell you, you know, it hasn't always been easy. You know, like for example, this morning, you know, I woke up and I uh, hadn't seen much of my wife lately, you know, because <laughs> recruiting and, you know, all the stuff, we're in fall practice. So this morning we, w we wake up and she looks at me and she says, hey, I haven't seen much of you lately. How about if we go out and have a nice breakfast together today? <laughs> I said, oh, honey, I'm sorry, but I've got something I've got to do. She says, you're not going to give another talk, are you? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm afraid I am. She says, what are you going to do, talk about LSU and baseball again? <laughs> I said, well, yeah, I'm sure those topics will probably come up. <laughs> she says, you know, I've been married to you now for 30 years, and I have come up with one indisputable fact. I said, what's that? She said, you love LSU and baseball more than you love me. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I love you more than football and basketball. <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> of course, I was just kidding. <laughs> she, uh, you know, I actually met my wife here. Uh, I, I grew up in Miami, Florida. I'm going to bore you with a little bit of my history, uh, as though you didn't get enough of it from Jim. Uh, but I grew up in Miami, Florida the son of a coach. My dad, when he retired from coaching after a 30-year career, was generally regarded as the greatest junior college coach in history. He's, he's been selected to probably six or seven Hall of Fames. Uh, he's had a field named after him. He's won a national championship, a thousand career wins. I think he had about 35 of his former players make it to the major leagues. And so my dream growing up was the opportunity to go play for him someday. And uh, that's all I ever wanted to do. And then when I was a senior in high school, this school from the Bayou State came down to play the University of Miami in Miami, Florida. And uh, they played my dad in a game on Thursday night before the series began. They played their freshmen and sophomores against my dad's team who were all freshmen and sophomores. And it was something about that purple and gold that just grabbed me, you know. And uh, the coach at the time, Jimmy Smith, uh, brought me in for a visit. Uh, to, uh, I'm sorry, that was my junior year, so he brought me in for a visit the next fall to a football game, and that was it, of course. <laughs> okay. And uh, I came to LSU, and in my, my very first semester here, I was living in Broussard Hall, yeah, for some of you that remember that used to be the athlete's dorm, and right next to Broussard Hall was Graham Hall. And I noticed this girl one day in, in a biology class, big auditorium. And she, back then, the girls used to wear like overalls and stuff to class. You know, I just thought it was the coolest thing. I mean, she was the cutest thing I ever saw. And uh, boy, I said, boy, I'd love to meet her someday. Well, one day I come out of Broussard Hall, and there she is walking right in front of me. She was in Graham Hall. So I worked up the courage about a week later, waiting for her to come walking by one other time and introduced myself. And she's been stuck with me now for 33 years. <laughs> Didn't let her go. So uh, LSU has always obviously been a bit, very special place to me. All the years that I, I spent away from LSU when I was coaching at, at a little school in Miami, St. Thomas University, and then at the United States Air Force Academy, what a thrill that was. The first, I was the first civilian baseball coach to ever uh, coach at the United States Air Force Academy. And you talk about an awesome responsibility when you think about the kids that you're coaching are someday going to be the leaders in our country that basically are the custodians of our way of life. You know, we sleep well at night because they're, they're out there protecting, you know, our way. And uh, that was an awesome experience. And, you know, I loved being there and thought I'd be there forever. And then one day I got a phone call from the athletic director at Notre Dame. And, it was a tough one, but you know, being that I would like to go to heaven someday, I, <laughs> I thought, you know, I don't know if I can turn down Notre Dame, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I went off to Notre Dame, and obviously I had a great experience there. I was there for 12 years, and I'm honest to God, there was there would not be another school in the country for which I would have left Notre Dame, and uh, but by, who would have ever dreamt that one school that that you you always said that's the only school that could take me away from something that I love, what are the chances that they're going to call you, right? <coughs> and when Skip called me that day, I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we, we jumped at the opportunity, and I haven't regretted it for a day. Because this, this six years that I've spent at LSU has been about as wonderful a time as any human being is allowed to have. I have had the opportunity to coach 
just fantastic people, fantastic baseball players. I've been had the opportunity to meet in the LSU community, the, the people that support our program, that support the athletic program, that support this university, the, the love of this university runs so deep through people's veins and it just oozes out of them. You can just see it. And I love to be around passionate people, people that care about things so much. You know, I, I, to me, you know, life is, you know, you want to live it to the gusto. You want to go for it. You know, you can't hold back. And uh, where else but LSU? I mean, this is, this, that defines the people of Louisiana. I've said this everywhere I've gone. You know, it, hurricanes, oil spills, down economies, it, nothing can discourage the people of Louisiana. They're the most resilient, the most generous, the toughest people that I have ever met. 